So glad I decided to come out. It's rainy, it's cold. I thought let me just see if I can find anything and yeah this is a game changer. <laughs> yeah. Luckily I'm not too far from the car but the more I look at that the better it's looking. So there's a bone over there, there's a bone over there. Oh, that is so cool. That looks, that definitely looks to me like um, a toothed bird, rostrum or beak. That's looking so good. Well, I got this beast back home in one piece. <laughs> I pulled the muscle on my back because it was so awkward to carry. But we got it here and that's the important thing. To give you an idea of what we're looking at here, I've got a 3D printed pelagonithid. Uh, I'll say a beak, rostrum, <laughs> and you can see how big the teeth actually were. Well, these bony protrusions, not real teeth, because they're all part of the same bone. And this is kind of what we've got here. So it's either this section over here just going into the rock, or hopefully it's from this section back and the rest of this beak will be inside the rock. Not sure yet. We're gonna to have to try and prep it to see. Kind of similar in size I would say to that one. If you were looking at this one over here. It's kind of similar to that one, yeah. Yeah, so let's go do a quick prep over there and see if we've got the skull attached to the back here, or if it's only a section of the front part of the, the bill over there. And here's that other bone sticking out here. This is the end of a joint. So we've got a pretty decent chance of finding the other end of the joint in there. And the good thing with a concretion this size is that usually concretions form from the middle of the fossil outwards. So if we're seeing little bits of bone on the outer edges here, Chances are there's going to be quite a bit inside there. That's what I'm hoping at least. Let's go weigh this and see how much it weighs. I'm thinking probably about 40 kilograms. It's a, it's a pretty heavy rock. In pounds, what's 40 times 2.2? 88 pounds. Forty-seven point eight kilograms. Yeah, so what's that, like 105 pounds? A bit bigger than I thought. That's a heavy rock.
this is after two evenings of prep work and I'm pretty confident that we're looking at the back over here uh, going towards the front of the bill. So we're missing the front of the bill and I was really hoping we would have the back because that <laughs> is a lot more diagnostic I think than the front of the bill. So let me show the example again. Remember this is the 3D printed one and if you look over here you've got this line over here and then it starts going up slightly and you've got a, a line over there it's going over there straight straight and then it starts curving up slightly so I think we're getting towards the back over here of this section and you can see how big it is very exciting I'm really hoping that the skull is sitting over here there's a I mean there's still a lot of rock here it could fit in here at least the partial skull so that would be so so cool but yeah this is a tooth bird uh, a pelagonithid is the, the is that the family or the genus but a pelagornis is the genus but yeah this is a tooth bird and that's so exciting they're not true teeth so the the teeth over here in quotation marks they still attach to the bone of the jaw so they're kind of just a a bony spur over there and you can see there's a large one there 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 there's one over there as well i haven't exposed it much they're so fragile that um I'm still thinking of how to expose them. Probably come in with a little bit of vinegar just to dissolve the rock there. And I've got a few places where it's sticking to the, the bone. Most of it's been flaking off nicely, but I'll come in and clean this up with uh, the acid. I don't want to scrape away at that bone surface. But how cool is this? <laughs> I can't believe I found a, a bony toothed bird. I never thought I would. That's so cool. The weird thing about this is I found it the first time we went fossil hunting after making a picture of a Pelagornis for those fossil cards I've made. It's very weird. So I spent six hours creating a digital um, bit, bit of digital artwork for it. And then the next thing I know, I find the real thing. I think what I need to do now is spend six hours making a dinosaur <laughs> fossil card and then hopefully the next time I go out looking in a Cretaceous area, I'll find an actual dinosaur. I'm so excited for this fossil prep. This is one of my dream finds. <laughs> I really can't wait to expose the rest and hopefully find that skull in there. These birds grew to be huge. Some of the, the wingspans on them were like four and a half meters. Insanely big. I'm going to carry on prepping uh, that fossil. What I wanted to check was whether we were working backwards on it or if we only had a small section, which would have been pretty disappointing. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of bones in there, I think. Uh, maybe we'll get a CT scan, I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely going to carry on prepping it, so I'll do an update video of that soon. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. I'm really excited about this find. This is a bucket list over here. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt. Mm -hmm.